My name is Rick Namias. I'm the founder and executive director of Food Forward. Food Forward is an organization that does backyard harvesting for the hungry. We go to people's homes and public spaces, glean uh, fruit trees and vegetables, and donate 100% to agencies across Southern California serving the needy. I got into this because I can't stand saying food go to waste, especially when there is such need right now. And I got into this because it's such a simple equation to make change in our community. I was very clear that neighbors of mine here in the valley have these beautiful trees that are legacies of the half million acres of commercial citrus that once was here. They maybe take one or two bags of fruit into their office and the rest goes to waste. So they leave about 90% on the tree and that's where we step in. We take that 90%, harvest it, box it, and get it to one of about 25 agencies across California that are all in pretty desperate need right now. The Springboard Grant really, I think, kicked us to a level of confidence, first and foremost, in that here was a major foundation feeling that if they were willing to invest in Food Forward, we must be doing something right. Along with the monetary award, we're given a two-year mentorship with a veteran in the nonprofit world. And for Food Forward, we were paired with Steve Lepore. My name's Steve Lepore, and I'm the executive director of One in Six. And I'm also uh, a mentor to Rick Namias at Food Forward through the Durfee Foundation Springboard Campaign. The opportunity to work with Rick is, I've just really enjoyed it. Um, he's very creative. He's very thoughtful. There is something about him that is uh, it's extraordinary in terms of his ability to take a very simple idea and turn it into something that will serve and do good for many, many people who don't eat every day a nutritious meal. And so to, to work with someone who's empathetic in that way and who's passionate in that way is wonderful. Well, there's something about the nonprofit world which requires innovation and I think a lot of thinking on your feet, especially now when foundations are closing down and the demand for social services is at an all-time high in our lifetime. So for me, having somebody, and I can't just say somebody, because I really feel with Steve comes the heart of Durfee as well, but they're laying a groundwork and a path which will make it easier, especially for someone like myself. I'm an artist that comes to this from a complete sideways entry. And to them that's attractive, because they understand an artistic mentality, but I think they also know that that has to be nurtured so that there are fewer stumbling blocks that, that I have to maneuver around. I think one of the areas that I've been able to be helpful with him in is just understanding the importance of sustainability as a young organization. Before you begin to think too big, before you begin to plan and dream too big, understand that the most important thing is to sustain your, your work. If you can't pay your bills, if you can't see your way through the next six months, then you certainly can't dream about six years from now. In the year now that I've been working with Steve Lepore, I can say that his insight, his guidance, and his friendship has proved invaluable. Well, it led to a, a confidence, and a lot of what I've done as a nonprofit leader is from my gut, and it's from a sense of feeling that it's the right thing to do at the right time. There's no playbook for creating a gleaning organization, let alone a new nonprofit in this economy. There is something wonderfully nourishing and there's something wonderful about having your colleagues and having your peers and in some cases your mentors rally for you. And I think that's part of the beauty of the Springboard Grant is that that's also what a mentor gets to do, is to encourage their mentee, regardless of the outcome, it's to say, yeah, keep doing it. When you have a foundation and you know that there's going to be these go-to people that you could literally uh, pick up a phone and call at any point, it, it just gives you a feeling that uh, you can take that step out into the unknown and come back and should it not work out, no harm, but you're not going to be stepping off a cliff. It's a very unique relationship for me and one I'm incredibly grateful for.